a momentary reprieve for WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange on Tuesday, after his extradition to the United States from Britain was put on hold. London's High Court said the US must provide assurances he would not face the death penalty. US prosecutors are seeking to put 52-year-old Assange on trial on 18 counts. They are all, bar one, over WikiLeaks's high-profile release of confidential US military records and diplomatic cables. Assange's wife Stella hailed the decision by the UK court as astounding. Now the UK courts have invited the United States to issue assurances. The Biden administration should not issue assurances. They should drop this shameful case that should never have been brought. Julian should never have been imprisoned for a single day. This is a shame on every democracy. Assange's lawyers sought permission in February to challenge Britain's approval of his extradition, part of a more than 13-year legal battle in English courts. In their ruling, two senior judges said he had a real prospect of successfully appealing against extradition on a number of grounds. The court said in its written ruling that Assange arguably would not be entitled to rely on the First Amendment right to free speech as a non-US national, and that while none of the existing charges carried the death penalty, he could later be charged with a capital offence such as treason, meaning it would be unlawful to extradite him. The ruling said his case was at least arguable, citing the calls for the imposition of the death penalty by leading politicians and other public figures. The judges said Assange had pointed to a comment by former US President Donald Trump. When discussing WikiLeaks in 2010, he had said, quote, that, I think there should be like a death penalty or something. The judgment said that if US assurances were not forthcoming by April 16th, then Assange would be granted permission to appeal. A further hearing has been scheduled for May 20th. That means his extradition has been put on hold, for now at least. Assange's many supporters hail him as an anti-establishment hero and journalist who is being persecuted for exposing US wrongdoing and alleged war crimes. The US says WikiLeaks' revelations put the lives of their agents at risk and there was no excuse for his criminality.